Hello, it's Simona again, and I want to say that I'm not representing any companies in this review. Today I'm comparing three high quality artist oil paints. I'm doing this so that I can determine which of these low odor or almost no odor oil paints have the very best properties. I'll be testing the M. Graham oil paints. They are made with walnut oil. I've been using them for around three years. I like using them. Uh, they're very uh, rich in their uh, pigment. And then the next paint will be Cobra water mixable paints. I have just started using them and I like the fact that you only need water to wash the brushes. And then the third paint will be by Sennelier, a company with a fine reputation, one of the oldest paint making manufacturers in the world. And I am very impressed with their reputation. So let's get on with our test. Thank you for joining me. I've laid out the first paint. It's the Titanium White by Cobra. Put a little bit more here. I'm testing the opacity here. We'll wait a few days, let these paints dry to the touch, and then see if a mist of water will disturb them, especially the water mixable ones. With these Cobra water mixable paints, I'm not adding any kind of medium. These are straight from the tube. And here's the yellow ochre. Pretty opaque from first glance. Let me put a little bit more of this yellow ochre down so I can run a texture test on it. Next up is Cobra's Ultramarine Blue, using it straight from the tube. Now this is supposed to be a transparent paint, we'll see after it dries, it's a darker paint so it's probably harder to tell how transparent it is. These are nice buttery paints. I will say that I've never used the Cobra brand. Here's the Burnt Sienna. Again, really straight out of a new tube. There's no liquid coming out of this. Oh, a tiny bit. Very tiny. Like I said, I don't know what the liquid is. I haven't been able to find out what their binder is other than that it's some sort of an emulsion. You know, they have their right to trade secrets with these new paints, the water mixable paints. So here's the Titanium White in M. Graham. Its binder is walnut oil. Their medium is walnut oil. And uh, they have a faster drying medium, which is also walnut oil, but it's an alkyd based, which has a, a bit of a smell to it. I'm not fond of that, of course, but if you need something to dry fast, that's the way to go. Next, they're yellow ochre. These aren't new tubes, so there's no problem with oil rising to the tops of these. Mm, they feel a little more thick than the Cobra. It's interesting. Right now I'm smelling just a little hint of an odor. Very small. I didn't smell anything with the Cobra and taking them out of even a new tube. Okay, now let's try out the Ultramarine Blue.
this ultramarine blue seems a little redder than the Cobra ultramarine blue. Just a little bit. And finally, M. Graham's Burnt Sienna. So M. Graham's Burnt Sienna is uh, a iron oxide. It's natural. It's not synthetic. It's it seems thicker than the Cobra paint. In fact, all these paints by M. Graham seem a little thicker than the Cobra paint thus far. That's what this test is telling me. Now we'll go on to the final brand, Sennelier. And they're made with uh, safflower oil. Now all their paints are made with safflower oil. For instance, they're Mars Black and Ivory Black. The tubes I have say they have some uh, linseed oil in them. The Sennelier seems to slide around a bit. Well, it doesn't seem to be much oil at the top of this. You know, different pigments react differently. This seems less oily than the white. It's a nice buttery thick, not too thin. I like it so far. Nice feel. And of course the yellow ochres are a bit opaque. Put a little bit more on here so I can test the texture. New tube, no liquid at the top. Feels nice and firm. Seems to be a little more red than the Cobra, but not as red as the M. Graham. Looks like there's a little bit of dried paint at the top of that, or a semi-dry paint at the top of that tube. Let me take it out and put some fresher paint in. Now here, oh dear, there is more oil behind it. Hmm. Let's pick up some of that oil. Hmm. Pretty oily. I'm surprised. But then it is a synthetic. It's it's not a earth. It's not a earth burnt sienna. I believe. Yeah. All these are pretty light fast though, regardless of whether they're synthetic or not. Now I'm going to run a fork, a small fork through each of the thick colors to test the, the texture. That doesn't seem to hold up at all right now. Let's see how long that holds up. I'll let them dry. And here's the yellow ochre. This Sennelier yellow ochre seems to hold the most texture at this time. Let's see what happens after they dry. Okay, now the ultramarines. This seems very oily. Actually, they all kind of feel a little thin, all the ultramarines. seems to be holding up the texture, the Cobra. It's just the M. Graham. Oh yeah, holding up the texture. Real good. 
Sennelier, pretty thin and oily. Welcome back. It's been 10 days since I applied the paints on this canvas for our test. We'll take a look at the Cobra paints to check on the texture. I can't see any loss of texture actually for any of the brands of paint. But here's a close up so you can judge yourself. Now we'll take a look at the M. Graham paints. And lastly, the Snellier paints. I'm going to put my hand over here on the Cobra white paint and check the wetness of the white. It is very wet, very, very wet. At least the thick part. Now the thin is dry. Nothing. Now, let's take a look at the yellow ochre. It, my finger kind of drags over there. It's barely starting to dry on the thick part. On the thin part, it's dry, very dry. Now let's look at the ultramarine. I'll break my hand off. Okay, it drags on the wet part, it's starting to dry. On the thin part, it's pretty dry. Let me clean my hand off here. Now on the burnt sienna, it drags on the thick part. On the thin part, it's pretty dry. Let's move over to the M. Graham paints. On the thick part, it's very wet. Very, very wet. Yeah, that white was very wet. Now the yellow ochre, it's pretty dry. It's pretty dry. The thin part is very dry, and the thick part is pretty good. It's a little soft. It do, my finger doesn't drag, but it is dry. You can paint over it. And let's take a look at the Ultramarine and the M. Graham. My finger kind of drags over that. It's wet right under the skin of the uh, paint there on the thick part. On the thin part, it's very dry. You don't see any residue there. Let's take a look at the Burnt Sienna, pretty dry, pretty dry on the thick part and on the thin part, very dry. Let's take a look now at our last line of paint, Sennelier. The Sennelier white is very dry, no loss of texture. That thick part is very dry and the thin, of course, is very dry. And you see no residue on my finger there. Let me look at the yellow ochre. It's, it's pretty dry. Pretty dry, and of course the thin is dry, the thick is dry. The, uh, the ultramarine is wet. You see it came off on my finger there. Now the thin ultramarine didn't come off on my finger. Oh, Sennelier's Burnt Sienna is pretty dry there on the thick part and very dry on the thin part. So the results are very mixed. Let's take a look over here at the little chart I made here for Cobra. I added medium to the white, the yellow ochre, the ultramarine blue, and the burnt sienna. And this is just the regular medium and uh, everything seems dry except, you know, this is all thin. Oh, I also tested Cobra's zinc white paint because a, a lot of people like to paint with the zinc and it's it's wet after 10 days and that's painted pretty thinly and that's just out of the tube wet and now I mixed a tiny bit of water maybe 10% water with it and it's pretty dry. Mm -hmm. I was curious to find out whether the Cobra paints would dissolve in water once they dried, that's just, you know, straight out of the tube without putting medium on them. And I'm not seeing anything with the white. I'll look at, no, I don't see anything. Let me look at the blue and I'm, I'm using a soft brush. Although I am rubbing kind of vigorously, but 
I don't see anything being dissolved on the yellow ochre. Again, a damp brush. Nothing on the ultramarine blue and on the burnt sienna, nothing. I'm here splashing some water on the Cobra paint that contains medium. And of course, there's no paint being spread. I didn't expect it to be spread because it has the medium in it, but just checking. Take a look at the results of this test on my blog. I'll have a table and some information on my blog, and I'll place the link to my website where my blog resides in the description below. I hope you found this comparison useful. I know I did. Please subscribe to my channel so I can provide you more of these reviews and demonstrations. Also, I really try hard to answer your questions, so please leave your questions and comments. I love it when you share, and have a great day.